This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So depending on which job you were looking at or just which job you were hired for would depend on where the orientation was. Um, for instance, the job that I have in Twinsburg, everything is done right in Twinsburg. I have another job in Cuyahoga Falls. That would be done right in Cuyahoga Falls. Um, for the Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Cardinal Logistics Management. They are looking for you. Cardinal realized that the people who drive their trucks are people first and drivers second. They have 100% dedicated regional and local runs, steady work, and time at home with your family. Nationwide opportunity for company drivers. If you guys are interested in Cardinals and logistics, Continue to listen to see what they have to offer. Is do you guys accept SEP drivers? No, we do not. How much experience uh, you guys require? So for most of our jobs here at Cardinal, the basic requirement is nine months of tractor trailer experience in the last three years. Um, some of our jobs have their own specific requirements depending on the location. So like if it's a tanker position or tanker hazmat or flatbed, sometimes they do require additional experience or endorsement. So you guys do have yeah, different so, divisions? Yeah, so the way that Cardinal is set up is we're actually a third party logistics holder. So we probably have 2,500 different positions throughout the United States and each position is specific to itself with a contract customer. So like for instance, in the Cleveland area, we have you know an O'Reilly's account. Those drivers are specifically hired for O'Reilly's and only haul for O'Reilly's. We also have a Cisco account. Those drivers are hired and only haul for Cisco. Um, so each operation is a dedicated operation to that specific customer. We get paid through you guys, though, right? Through Cardinal. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, okay. All of the trucks are Cardinal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I was interested, you know, fill out the application, come in, where would you guys send me for orientation? And would the pre-employment drug screening, would that be hair follicles or urine or both? So depending on which job you were looking at or just which job you were hired for would depend on where the orientation was. Um, for instance, the job that I have in Twinsburg, everything is done right in Twinsburg. I have another job in Cuyahoga Falls. That would be done right in Cuyahoga Falls. Um, for the Cisco account, you would have to go to Front Royal, Virginia. So each job is just a little bit different with the orientation process as well. As far as the drug test, we just do a urine DOT drug test. Uh, transportation orientations, are you guys covering that as well as the hotel or no? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you guys have all these divisions and all these different lanes. Do you guys run any anything in, the, in, in or out of Canada? We do have um, a couple accounts up in Canada. I'm not sure of the particulars with those specific accounts because I've just never dealt with them. Um, so I'm not really sure. I'd have to, you know, link up with another recruiter and, and ask those questions. The mileage pay, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, these different opportunities that you have uh the mileage pay varies can you give me a ballpark on the top pay for a driver of my status which i got seven years which i will be coming in at if i decide to go with one of those opportunities that you have so none of our accounts pay based on experience um all of our accounts are going to pay based on what the customer contract says. For instance, 
um, going back to the Twinsburg position, it pays fifty cents a mile plus seventeen fifty per each stop, and you're doing like nine stops a night. That averages about sixteen hundred dollars for the week. Um, I have a tanker hazmat position out of Cincinnati, Ohio. That account pays seventy five cents a mile plus thirty five dollars for each stop. That account averages about twenty two hundred dollars a week. Um, each position is going to be very different on the cents per mile stop. If it's an hourly position, is it a yard spotter position? Um, so each one is going to be pretty different to give a range of pay is kind of hard unless we're talking about one specific position. What would be the average miles? And as far as home time goes, would these opportunities will have me to be home that I can be home every week or would it be like a 34 hour reset? So I hate to say this, but once again, each position is going to be a little bit different. You know, if you're doing a yard spotter position, you're going to be home every day. Um, I have some accounts where you're home daily. I have other accounts that give you home time throughout the week, home on the weekend. I have other ones where you're gone all week and home on the weekend. Um, we have some accounts that we call like a flex position where you're out for a month at a time and they pay you a flat rate, you know, per week. So it's really, really hard to narrow down those specifics because each account is so different. I'm sorry. I hope I'm explaining that good. I just, it's hard to give you a specific without talking about one specific job. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we have, we have some options in this area. The one that I kept mentioning was the Twinsburg, Ohio account for O'Reilly's. That's a home daily Monday through Friday. That averages like 1600 bucks for the week. Um, and then combined with that, those drivers also do flex out. So some of those drivers are gone for two weeks at a time and they pay them a flat rate of $500 per day. I have the yard spotter position here in Cuyahoga Falls. That's going to be a home daily position uh, Monday through Friday. Day turn, that averages about $1,200 for the week. Um, combined with that, I also have a delivery position where those drivers get home like one day during the week and on the weekend, that one averages about $1,700 for the week. Um, so I also have a Cisco account, which is a drop and hook. You're gone during the week, home on the weekend. That one averages about $1,900 for the week. So there, there are several options in this area. You know the type of equipment that we'll be driving and what are they governing that? So all of our trucks are governed at 68 miles. Um, the equipment is going to be a little bit different for those positions that I mentioned. Um, all of our trucks are going to be newer in the last four years. Most of our trucks are automatic. Um, we have a combination of Freightliners, Internationals, Max, Peterbilts, Kenlers. Um, so good, a good combination of equipment. And each account, you know, is just a little bit different about what they keep on hand as far as, you know, trucks they need for new drivers coming in. Awesome. What about, uh, what about cameras, driver cameras? So all of our trucks have the outward facing. They also have the inward facing. Um, the inward facing is not turned on when a driver is newly hired. Um, the inward facing would only become turned on if you had some type of safety sensitive function that, you know, hard braking from the Bendix or something else where it sends a notification to the safety office. They would review the violation. They would decide if and for how long the camera would need to be turned on and you would actually need to sign a piece of paper before we ever turned that camera on um so i, I guess if you never have anything then the camera never gets turned on this is uh all w2 so you guys is offering benefits when do they start after 30 days 
All right. What's, what's your policies on pet and rider and how old can I or how young can I bring my rider? So Cardinal's policy on that is no riders or pets on any account. <clears throat> That'll do it. <laughs> uh, do you yes, got, sir. Do you pretty, got, pretty simple. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any uh, team opportunities over there or lease opportunities? So the only owner operator position that I would have would be out of Middlefield, Ohio for Craftmade. And that's like a home delivery, delivering cabinets. Um, with that position, the driver would need to have their own truck. They would also need to have a doubled endorsement. And for that account, the driver that's hired would hire their own helper. So each owner operator has to hire their own helper. Um, as far as teams, the only team positions that Cardinal has that I'm aware of are pretty much primarily in the South, so like Georgia, Alabama. Um, we don't have any team positions like here in the Midwest. My last question, and I do appreciate the time. Um, do you guys yeah, have absolutely. any type of you guys have any type of sign on bonuses or anything like that? So, back to each account is going to be different. Um, in this area here, the Cuyahoga Falls position does have like a three thousand dollar sign on bonus. It's paid out over. 30 days, 90 days, and six months. Awesome. Well, thank you. I, I do appreciate it. it that some, especially for the Ohio uh, accounts that you have, uh, those are interesting uh, to say the least. But thank you very much. And I will definitely pass this on with my, uh, with my CDL group, um, CDL truck career group. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna share my phone number in that group, that that would be awesome. Um, I have about twenty five different accounts that I recruit for, not just here in Ohio, but I, I'd be glad to talk with anybody who's looking for a new opportunity. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the time. Oh, you're so welcome. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too, ma'am, and thanks for the call back. Cardinal Logistics, everybody. All right. Shout out to the recruiter for Cardinal Logistics for reaching out uh, to me to give me some information about the company. But before I get into that, I want to send a special shout out for the suggestion. I want to send a shout out to Curtis Taylor for the suggestion. He says, do a MTC on Cardinal Logistics Management Court. So shout out to you, sir, for the coffee. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And here it is, Cardinal Logistics. Young lady, we paid telephone tag uh, for the last couple of days, but she has returned to give us some good information. Infer. Infer information <laughs> um no sap drivers sorry uh no pets no riders so those the key um those those are the key takeaways from uh from this call right here uh again they have multiple accounts they also have multiple divisions so if you want to drive tanker they got that if you want to drive flatbed they got that if you want to drive dry bots they got that if you have your hazmats and tankers they got something for you as a driver you will be working with a team that will value and respect and give you a little bit of integrity your they don't do uh, CPM or they don't do miles uh, cent per mile based on your experience they give you cent per mile based on the accounts that they have 
uh, one of the accounts that they that she did mention, you can get anywhere between nineteen hundred to like two grand a week if you're out of the Ohio area. Again, shout out to the recruiter for giving us the information. And if you guys drive for Cardinal Logistics, let us know your experience in the description below. If you guys want to know more about Cardinal Logistics, give this young lady a call. Her information will be also will be in the description below. All right. Thank you, guys. Make sure you get your suggestions in for the next mtc you can do that by hitting me up in the dm you can hit me up in the gmail which is lockout men podcast guest at gmail.com or you can leave it right here in the good old comment session or who would you like to hear from next yo don't forget the coffee the coffee is always welcome dollar sign lockout men and make sure you like the videos if they are some value to you Until next time, everybody.